Hey kids, it's Dad. It is a Wednesday. I want to tell you a little story about my friend Scott. Scott was uh, a few years older than me. Uh, at the time I was 14, he was 17. He was star quarterback on the, happened to be opposing football team, uh, Pittsburgh Southern football team. Uh, in our church we have what's called home teachers and people who kind of check on you and, and keep track of you in in the church and him and his father were our home teacher so Scott was in our home very regularly and I was in their home and we had a really great relationship uh, Scott was someone I looked up to I uh, had a a neat neat friendship well uh, back uh, in uh, 1983 in April, uh, Scott was uh, killed in a car accident. And that was the first time I think I'd ever really thought about death, or at least had to deal with death um, in the family. Um, and quite a, an amazing um, quite an amazing experience. The opportunity to uh, I guess the opportunity is the wrong word, but you know, having to deal with that. I remember being on my paper route, and I had an early morning paper route, and it was dark, and I remember. Just, and so, I remember Scott's funeral, and uh, it was a closed casket. The crash was bad news, and um, uh, but I remember his family being at his house after the funeral and having having lunch and. I remember playing with their Atari, and we're down in the basement, and his sister Heidi, um, Scott had three sisters, uh, Becky, or Heidi, Becky, Scott, and then Heather. Heather was my age, so we were 14, 15-ish. And I remember, uh, I don't know why I remember this, I remember uh, the, the video game system wasn't working properly, and Heidi said, you know, if Scott was here, he would know what to do. That really set me back. That really, really set me back. And I don't know why. Um, and to this day, I remember that. I remember that very vividly. You know, uh, I was starting to say, I remember on my paper route, and I got emotional on my paper route. I mean, it fell apart. And it was just, you know, because I didn't understand why this would happen. And it was like I was trying to talk to him. And very powerful. I don't know why, but it was very powerful. Um, uh, and I don't know why I'm doing this video, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but Scott left a very positive impression on my mind. Uh, his, this whole Horsley family did, and they were fantastic. Very fantastic. Um, but, you know, I looked at things a little bit different. And maybe is I, I loved people a little bit more. And uh, so Scott had left us, left a, a great legacy. Uh, on Sunday there was a message on my Facebook page from Scott's mom Gloria and I started following her things on Facebook and I found out that her and her daughter Heidi kind of created a little group together for uh, grieving siblings and they made a point that you know moms and dads get a lot of condolences but no one says sorry you lost your brother it's always sorry your son died and they made a point, mom and dad probably got, you know, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of cards where the siblings didn't get anything. And it's not about that. It's about the fact that they needed support. And I, I, I listened to a, a WebEx that they did and kind of relived it a little bit. And I got a little emotional listening to it. And But it was kind of amazing to think about, you know, to this day, how Scott's legacy still lives. And how Scott is making it, the experience that Scott left us is making a difference in, in other people's lives. And Dr. Gloria and Dr. Heidi are you know going around teaching and they wrote books and are really making a difference in people who are grieving and helping that network. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I just want to, uh, to the Horsley family, thank you for the reconnection. I don't know if they'll ever see this or not. That's neither here nor there. But uh, thank you for. Uh, the, the memory, the the good thoughts, and the positive support that you're giving people. I think that's awesome. Uh, I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Baby Drew. You know, what will be your legacy? What will be my legacy? I don't know. And what a difference will, will we make to other people? I love you guys so much. Bye.